Impantex. We are recently supported by Google. We are set to work with Queen Mary University of London and we are automating a process that's taken them years and we can probably bring it down to a matter of seconds. We've engineered both systems from the ground up in-house. They were designed from the outset to be smart. So unlike other systems in the market where they might say that they have artificial intelligence is usually a consultancy based model or just one module of their product that might have that. Ours has machine learning embedded throughout the entirety of the systems end to end and it gets smarter over time. The advice that I get from Impact X is reliable. Impact X is uh, unique in its approach with founders in particular because they offer really uninhibited advice from a number of different perspectives. Would you kindly introduce yourself? My name is Amber Hill. I am the founder and CEO at Research Grid, where we're accelerating medical research from months to minutes. Um, my background is end-to-end -end medical research, so I spent my career across several branches of medical research, finished off my PhD in biomedical neuroscience uh, at UCL, did a little stint in computer science, and then management and leadership at MIT. Please share the inspiration behind founding Research Grid and what's your core mission that drives your company? Yeah, so the inspiration behind founding Research Grid was pure frustration of being in the lab, having to deal with really laborious processes that I shouldn't have had to do, things like typing exact replicas from a folder into the computer uh, just for data management of medical research, and then also how inaccessible that research is in a number of ways and reaching people and engaging them and continuing to engage them over time how manual process it is so i'm someone who just hates admin <laughs> at its core i think it can be automated and so the real underlying core of starting research grid was automating all of the things that everyone hates that costs a lot and contributes to high delays please give us an overview of the research grid system and give details of the development process so far Research Grid pretty much addresses upstream and downstream clinical trials. Upstream is the engagement and management of people within the trials, and then downstream is the management of the trial itself. We have two products to address each of these bottlenecks of inaccessible and manual processes throughout. The first is called Inclusive, which is targeting the workflow around inclusive engagement in clinical trials and community engagement in those trials. And then downstream, there's our grid, which is the management of the trial itself and all of the admin and bottlenecks associated with that. Um, so documents, data, and communications. We essentially use our engineer tools to address those bottlenecks and deploy those tools across both platforms. What makes Research Grid's comprehensive system for managing clinical trials stand out in the industry? Yeah, so we stand out in three core ways. We've engineered both systems from the ground up in-house, and so they were designed from the outset to be smart. So unlike other systems in the market where they might say that they have artificial intelligence, is usually a consultancy-based model or just one module of their product that might have that. Ours has machine learning embedded throughout the entirety of the system end to end and it gets smarter over time. So that's one core fundamental way that we are different from competitors. The second is that we're the only system with an embedded CEI platform within uh, the CTMS. And what that means without the jargon is that we have a community engagement and inclusion infrastructure end to end that can be embedded into the clinical trial management system. The third way that we're different is that we are flexible in how our customers can use us. So they can use our APIs to embed our system into their current workflow or infrastructure, or they can embed their workflow into ours using other open-ended APIs. So we're flexible in that way. How easy is it for an organization to integrate research grid system into their clinical trial processes? It's out of the box, really. So they can start using our grid straight away uh, or inclusive straight away as well or we can work with them to do a series of integrations if they want a little bit of both in terms of their own current workflow as well as our system share a standout success story of a client using research grid and the impact it had on their clinical trial process. One of our customers is called Vimeo Research. I love what they do. Um, what they're doing is essentially taking mobile clinics into underserved communities to 
recruit and involve people who aren't ordinarily involved in clinical trials. And so they use our infrastructure to widen access to those communities globally, particularly within the US and the UK. They use our system for the workflow around that as well and to gather more insights into their work itself. The success story behind that is that they didn't have an infrastructure for this process before using Inclusive. They have now a very high inclusivity rate in terms of trial and in terms of diversifying trials, much higher than the, the national averages for involvement in trials. Somewhere around like 14% is the normal average and theirs is about four or five times that. We've automated a lot of their workflow. So before it was very manual in terms of reaching their stakeholders uh, or their partners. And now they can do that in a matter of seconds. And we've expanded their reach from about 13,000 original kind of community groups to now over 74,000 different community groups globally, rather than in an isolated location. There's a lot of uh, use cases like that. One for our grid is being able to speed up document processes. So one example of this is an 18 month process we were able to bring down to about two weeks in terms of documentation just by automating. We have another partner as well that we are set to work with Queen Mary University of London and Bart's Health, where we are automating a process that's taking them years and we can probably bring it down to a matter of seconds using one of our machine learning algorithms. How has partnering with Impact X Capital provided strategic support beyond funding, especially in aligning with Research Grid's mission and operational goals? Impact X is uh, unique in its approach with founders in particular because they offer really uninhibited advice from a number of different perspectives. So I've had advice from sort of the technical perspective, I've had advice from financial perspective, I've had advice from just a general investment perspective. And it's really been some of the core advice that we've used to kind of push ourselves forward over time. It's been really valuable. I find that the advice that I get from Impact X is reliable. Like you know that it is A is coming from a good place, it's coming from a place only to drive you forward, only for your growth and for your best interests. And I think we're aligned also with what we're trying to do as a vision, which is accelerate medical research from months to minutes for everyone. And I think Impact X is, is quite passionate about the impact factor of our work, where some VCs are sort of more full on like bottom line in terms of how much revenue growth we have. Impact X is also interested in how we are growing in terms of our diversity metrics in terms of making sure that everyone is included both internally in, in terms of the company and also with our clients and stakeholders and i find that that is quite heavily aligned to who we are at the core of our company and who we want to be in terms of our, our vision and values in one sentence describe the strategic advice impact x imparts i've had some of my best advice from them to be honest what's on the horizon for research grid are there any upcoming innovations or expansions you're particularly excited about? We are recently supported by Google and we have like Google DeepMind, for example, uh, Angels as well on board and uh, Plug and Play has recently taken us into their health accelerator. And so there's lots happening uh, behind the scenes in terms of uh, accelerators growth and expansion into the US, further expansion into the UK, in particular the West Midlands, and further expansion into potentially the UAE. So those are all things that we're looking forward to. And we have some Asia pipeline as well. So really looking forward to that. Also, our machine learning algorithms are only getting smarter and better. We have three patents out for, for those. We're just growing extremely rapidly. We've gone from the early stages before commercializing at about 29k ARR to over 600k ARR in less than 12 months. So since commercializing our product, we're growing quite rapidly over time. Yeah. What message would you like to share with female entrepreneurs aspiring to make a mark in the healthcare technology sector? Do it. I think it's important to believe in yourself and to keep pushing. No founder journey is an easy one and you just have to ride those waves that you will get. And there are more people who want to see you flourish and grow than, than not. And so just keep pushing. 
what's in the pipeline. We are raising our next round currently, which is a five million pound round that is open. We're a high growth agile company with top tier backing, um, proprietary AI and data. We have 1.5 million in contracts over the last 12 months that gives us over 600k ARR, which is from about 29k since commercializing. Our product is supporting world-leading trials. Impact X.